Hey oh YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back after a long wait. I apologize for that, but welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Uh, about the wait, I do apologize for it once again, but it was just uh, it, I got to a point in the game here where I need to level grind, and I didn't have quite enough time right at that moment or those those days, I guess, to level grind. So I just needed to take a little bit of time to figure out the best way to level grind because I knew there were good ways to level grind at this point in the game. I didn't quite know how good, but uh, that's what we're going to be talking about at, like in this video. Um, this is really just like I've done in the past. I'm level grinding at this point in the game, and I would like to show you all the process I'm using to level grind, especially because this is the most well-known process to level grind in this game. It's not a cheat. It's actually a built-in thing in the game. Um, but we're going to basically okay. So let's just let's just get straight into it. I'm going to make another video at some point, by the way. For the casino because I've, I've also got some nice techniques there as well but uh, let's get straight into this video so the setup here uh, you can see I've gotten everyone up to like 57 58 59 for Veronica uh, but basically I have Red Chan Silvando Eric and Jade all in the party uh, Eric is or no no Silvando doesn't technically need to be pepped up right now uh, so we're also going to be using some items called pep pips uh, let me see I don't know who has them right now I thought I had pep pips. There we go. Okay, so Jade has the pep pip right now. I think I have another one somewhere. I don't know where it's at. But this pep pip will instantly pep someone up. So we're going to be using that here in a little bit, as well as uh, a couple of um, just a couple of skills that are handy to have for this process. I do have the uh, most people's pep up percentage up. And for Red Chan, I have that uh, the pep up how like you can actually force yourself to pep up. Uh, and then also for Eric, I have Critical Claim. Let me show you here, which is a skill that will ensure a critical hit on an enemy. Um, so basically, um, you're going to want to pep everyone up before starting so that you can go over here and save. And then just if, if this goes wrong, which this can go wrong, uh, then you can just start over and try again. Right with everyone pepped up. It's less stuff you have to do. Uh, but let's go ahead and just go right at it. Uh, the guide that I watched to learn how to do this was, uh, it, it suggested actually doing this specifically here with these enemies specifically. And I totally agree because these enemies will, aside from this giant dragon thing which will kill, uh, those little flying things will actually heal the party. I know it's weird, they, but they actually do heal, like, uh, they'll, they'll heal us. So um, here's what we're going to do. So. Like I said, Silvando doesn't technically need to be pepped up. So right now we're not going to use a, a pep power for, for Silvando, but since he's already pepped up, I can use the pep pip to uh, to complete the pep up thing I need for the second pep up power, or for the second pep power I should say, that we're going to use. So the first one we're going to use is this called Hallelujah. So Hallelujah will increase the experience we get at the end of battle. All right, so let's go ahead and use it first. Uh, this is the first time you all will see this, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch it. These are actually pretty cool little uh, cutscenes. And so now, uh, the experience that we get at the end of the battle will be doubled or something along those lines. Um, okay, so um, I need to use the Pep Pip on Jade. And by the way, the Pep Pip I got at the casino. Um, like I said, I'll make another video at some point explaining the casino and all that. But uh, what we're going to do for now, let's just defend with Eric. We need to use um, the Pep Pip with Jade. So hopefully Sylvanda will stay pepped up a little bit longer. And uh, that's okay anyways, I hope Red Chan gets a turn before, uh, yeah, because now for Red Chan, we can go ahead and use, where is it, oh, I think it's an ability, yeah, uh, Pep Up here. Alright, so now um, two of the three people I need for the second one is, is already pepped up, and Jade has the Pep Pip, so hopefully she gets a turn soon. Alright, so now we're going to use this Pep Pip. And if you don't have pet pips, this is, it's not even necessary for this. You can do this without pet pips. You just keep defending. 
That's why the, the malicious spirit, the ones that are flying, that's why this is a good place to do this because you can just keep defending and they'll heal you actually. Like They do attack you as well, but they'll also heal you, which is really nice because you're just going to stand there and defend over and over until you get pepped up. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use the pep pip on Jade. And hopefully this second, so this second pep power we're going to use, it's called Electrolyte. And it basically has, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's got a half and half percentage between guaranteeing metal monsters, like metal slimes, or um, there's also a chance it could give you these giant robots, which has happened to me a few times. I really hope it doesn't happen this time, but it, it could, and that's why we saved right before doing this, because now we're able to actually restart and do this all really quickly if we need to. So let's go ahead and use Electrolyte. I, this is one of my favorite pet powers. It's such a cool cutscene. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up again and let you watch this. And uh, we'll see what we get. <laughs> oh no, we got the metal monsters. Okay. And you know, it is what it is. It's okay. So what we're going to do now... Um, I'm actually going to try and flee from the battle if I can. Alright. And that's okay, because it'll just show you the full process, really. We're going to return to title screen. And it's actually a decent, like, example, honestly. Because now I can show you how quickly, if you save at the right spot, just how quickly you'll be able to restart and get it all done again. Because uh, you want to do, if, if you don't have the pep pips, you're just going to uh, keep defending, like I said and it takes a while to get pepped up sometimes so that's why it's important to get into a battle just keep defending until you get pepped up and then go save like that's the crucial thing is to save right then and there because now look so uh we're right back here um let's see i may actually need to yeah so uh my auto save didn't have critical claim already taken up on it so we're gonna actually get critical claim again <laughs> I forgot to save after that. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, we have Critical Claim again. Uh, like I said, Critical Claim is the one that guarantees a critical hit. So let's go ahead and attack this thing. Ooh, whoa! Oh my god. I think that's a shiny one of those things. This is, okay. This is turning into like a totally different video now. Um, okay, well that's okay. I don't think I'm really going to worry about that. I might attack it if I get the chance to with someone who's just defending. Okay, let's just get into the battle. Okay, so we're immediately going to use Hallelujah again. All it would do, if we were able to kill that thing, it would just uh, increase the actual uh, experience we get anyways. So whatever, let's just do it if we can. That's such a weird like thing that happens. I don't even know if they're called Shinies, but they that's the same idea as Shinies from Pokemon. Alright, so we're using Hallelujah again. And as you know, uh, Sylvando will be left over being pepped up. So we're going to pep up Red Chan with the skill, and then use the pep pip with Jade. And maybe if we get a chance to, we'll uh, attack that thing and kill it. But I don't want to take out the other one as the thing, so I don't want to use... Because like, he has the boomerang, so he's going to attack... Oh man, I don't even know what to do here. Huh. Because I don't want to accidentally kill the other one on accident. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I use critical claim on it, maybe? Yeah, okay, let's do that. You ready for this? There we go. It's not going to kill it, though? Come on. Maybe he'll get another turn before Jade. Alright, so uh, we're going to use Pep Up on Red Chan. It's fine. If I don't kill it, I'm not going to worry about it. Because I'm really. That's not really what I'm here to do, anyways, so. Um, let's try... Oh, he's got the whip, so he's gonna attack. Ah, oh, man. Uh, we're gonna cast Accelerate. That's a good thing to do anyways. I think I'm just gonna ignore the shiny. Oh, well, let's try Critical Claim again, then. Uh, but yeah, if you cast Accelerate, your, like, your, your party will get more turns. And that's a good thing. Hmm, I might actually try and take that thing out if I can. Let's see what we can do. Burns a single enemy. Uh, incinerates a single enemy. Singes. Yeah, okay. We're gonna try and attack this thing by itself. 
because I don't want to accidentally kill the other one. Because we've already cast Hallelujah. So, oh yes, we did it. Okay, cool, we killed it. So we'll get even more experience. That's awesome. That was really good timing. Yeah, so we've already cast Hallelujah. So we don't want to have to get into another battle. We want to do all of this within this one battle. Alright, so let's go use the, the Pep Pip on Jade now. And um, now we'll use Electrolyte. Alright, so let's see if I get the robots this time. I very well might have to, to start this over. Or I, I guess I'll just cut out the time between now and then. But we'll see. Let's see what we get. Come on, Metal Monsters! Yes! Okay, there we go. So, you see how fast it took? It just took a few extra minutes to get back to where we were at. And I even took a little bit of extra time there trying to uh, to kill that thing. Oh man, one flees immediately. I actually managed to kill three of these things recently. Man, only one is left. But that's okay. So, it's a decent example of why it's important to have this critical claim attack for the vicious metal, like, or for any of the metal monsters. Uh, because now we can just use critical claim on this thing. Oh man, not enough MP. I wasted it on the other one. Oh, that's that's devastating. That's not good at all. I just I just completely screwed this up, guys. Okay, well, um, let's use. Do we have anything better than that? 30 MP. Let's use that on ourselves. Maybe we'll get another turn if this thing doesn't run away. It's gonna be horrible. Well, okay, so it's it's good to have this thunder thrust too because sometimes you can get it with that. There we go. All right, cool. That's fine. All right. So I didn't even talk about thunder thrust, but yeah, it's good to have thunder thrust with Jade too for that exact reason. If you're not able to use critical claim, uh, or you can use critical claim on one of them and you can use thunder thrust on the other one. But look. All right. So we only killed one of those things and we got. 119,086 experience points. Like, I killed three of those in one turn, uh, like, the last time I did this, and I got, like, 324 experience. 324,000, that is. 324,000 experience, sorry. Uh, and it's just, it's an insane, insanely fast way of level grinding. And so watch, everyone's going to level up now. So, uh, Red Chan only went up one. Last time they went up by, like, three, because I killed three of them. But still... Killing one monster and getting them to go up from 58 to 59, that's crazy. Fabulous, darling! Alright, so Silvando went to 59. Eric went to 59. Things are looking Jade right. is at 58 now. Serena's at 58. Veronica should be at like 60. Uh, Hendrix, 59. Rab is 58. What about Veronica? Okay, yeah, and Veronica's 60. So yeah, I mean, we only killed one that time, and that, it kind of sucks that the other two ran away, but that's okay. And look, also with the, ha the, the Hallelujah skill, you also get really nice items. We got a Seed of Life and a Skull Ring. I'll have to see what that is. That's, that might be a good item, actually. Uh, but you can get really good drops from these things because uh, of the Hallelujah skill. You're guaranteed more experience and better drops. So yeah, guys, look at that. So literally, I have been, uh, we're at 13 minutes in this video, and I spent a couple minutes at the beginning talking about it, so like, that's how fast, even having to do it a second time, I managed to level all of my characters up one level at this point by killing one monster, and it only took within like 10 minutes maybe. Like, it's just a really fast way of level, level grinding, and... To be honest, I could probably set and do this right now and get all of my characters up to 99 and just like obliterate the rest of the game, but that would take all of the fun out of the game, and I don't want to take all the fun out of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my characters up to, I would say, l like level 70. To be totally honest, I would feel a lot more comfortable just going 10 more levels up to level 70. And then I'm going to continue the game as though uh, we've just left off where we were. Um, it, it'll be soon too, because as you saw, this is a this is a really fast way of doing this. Um, I'll tell you what, since that was so fast, actually, I'm going to go to the casino, and we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about the casino this time too, because I've still got plenty of time left. So let's just go to Octagonia. Um, where was it? Did I already pass it? Oh, there it is. So uh, we're gonna go to Octagonia, and we're gonna we're gonna look at the casino. 
Because there's, there's a really decent way of making money at the casino, too. Once again, just by exploiting, uh, like, autosaves or saves in general. Because you can always, if you lose all your money, you can just reload and try again. And so you can make the, the odds work in your favor by just reloading your game. <clears throat> so real quick, we're going to save our game because everyone leveled up and uh, <laughs> I don't want to lose that critical claim ability again. Uh, so let's go ahead and save the game and we'll go into the, the casino. There's a couple of things that I would like to show you in the casino as well. Um, first off, I'll show you uh, the, the where you can get the pep pips. So if you really just don't feel like defending over and over, then you can just come spend a couple hours here at the casino, make enough money to buy pep pips for days, and then you just go back and just use pep pips over and over until you've level grinded all your pep pips away, basically. So here's the lady that you can, you can exchange your tokens for here at the casino. Uh, as you can see, I have 905,000 tokens. So uh, the pep pip is right here. There's also some really good items I could buy here, and I've really debated on whether or not to get them, <laughs> like this hot bikini. Uh, comment below and let me know if, what you think, if you, there are any items here that you would like for me to buy or that you would like to see me get. Um, so just comment below and uh, definitely let me know. What's the scandalous swimsuit? What is that? What's different between that and the other one? Oh god, some of these items. I don't even know if it's safe for YouTube. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it, because especially this is the English version. I wonder this cheat sheet. It cheat, what, a convenient little clicker with which one can count the symbols on the reel of the reels of slime quest machines. What does that do? Huh. I'm going to have to look into that. I don't want to waste a lot of money. It's only 30,000. Hell, let's buy it. Let's do it. I don't know what that is, but... Like, supposedly that'll make the slime reels easier or something? I'm really confused. Let's just put... Let's put the strong medicine away. We don't really have any use for that anymore anyways. Uh, we're going to buy a couple of pet pips while we're here, though. Just a couple, not many. We're going to do... Let's do three. Because uh, we want to save some money for the uh, the slot. Or, I mean, the... the we're actually going to go to the roulette, uh, the 200 minimum roulette table is what we're going to do. Alright, so let's put, uh, let's give them to Eric. We'll give all three of them to Eric and we'll distribute them later. I think I still had one more left somewhere too, I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to double check that. So, if we go up here, we're going to go to the roulette table. This is the high stakes roulette. And you'll notice when we walk in here, we get an auto save. So, we're going to just, after that game autosaves, we're going to go straight up here. Oh, before we do that, uh, you can go over here to, and talk to this girl right here. This girl is known as the, um, like, the, I think it's the jackpot bunny. Yeah. So, she tells you about the jackpot, but we're not going to listen to her. We're going to just say no. And uh, if she says, every now and then, she'll say that the jackpot's close to hitting. And supposedly, if she says that, which she's going to say, how many tokens there are? There's a, a million tokens to be won in the jackpot. And then she didn't say anything. So I haven't got her to say it yet because I've never won the jackpot. But I hear there's a quest uh, for the jackpot anyway, so I need to like start that quest somewhere. If you know where that quest is at, comment below and let me know. Because uh, I don't think I've started it. If I have, I, I don't realize it. I, sh I guess I could check my quests. Quest catalog. I don't see anything that looks like it. But who knows, right? I think I went through them all. Oh well, so let's play some roulette. So the minimum bet is 200 tokens. Um, we're going to start out at, it looks like we have 500,000 tokens. So here's what we're going to do. We're going, as you can see, you can set the tokens either on the square and you get uh, a 36 times payout. You can set it in between the square and get an 18 times payout. Or you can set it on this, uh, this, like, the intersection and get a 9 times payout. You can also press the, uh, either the square button or the X button, and it'll stack it up to, uh, the maximum bat bet, which is 2,000. Uh, we're gonna go straight down a line with 2,000 bets on each one, and, um, 
the way I like to do it, and people, have, from what I've seen, people have their own ways of doing it. You're going to want to do as few as possible while covering as much of the board as possible. So uh, what I usually do is I just fill up two or three lines, depends on how, like, how much stakes I'm willing to take, or how much of a risk I'm willing to take, I guess. Uh, we're just going to keep going straight down a line, and I'm going to do these first three rows. And I, for some reason, I always skip this last one, 35 and 36 here, I don't know. But uh, we're also going to do this line, this line, and then we're going to go down to the bottom, and we're going to do all of these on the bottom. Alright, and uh, so now I've only put up uh, 154,000 to uh, potentially win way more than that. So let's go ahead and check and see if we've won. So the way it's going to work is uh, we can basically win by hitting any of these things, but you want to land on one of the light green squares because that's the ones that pay out the most. Alright, we did it. Cool. So we hit a light green square, which means we are going to gain money. If you remember, we threw up like 154,000 or something. Uh, it stopped in 23, so watch. it's gonna We're going to get a lot. We got 240,000, which means we just went up by a hundred thousand tokens or so and the reason why is because you saw all the times the multipliers popping up it it's because we bet on like we bet on red we bet on 13 through 24 we bet on odd we bet on 19 through 36 and we got all six of those 2,000 bets on the single one as well as the one on the end uh, it all adds up and you get 240,000 tokens now that I think that's the most really that I've seen one at once, uh, but you can imagine if you want to be a little bit riskier about it, here's what you can do. So, uh, well, first of all, before anything, anytime you make money off of it, you're gonna go just walk out the door and you're gonna walk right back in. And what that does is that saves the game. We're gonna get an auto save, it already did it, but we're gonna walk back up and it, it auto saves again. It basically auto saves anytime you walk like into a new area. So uh, we have an autosave again, so we just saved the game because we made profit. So if I had not won, if I had not made a profit there, all we would have done is uh, gone to exit to return to title screen, and it would have reloaded the autosave where we walked into the room. We would have had all of our money back, and we could have tried it again. So once again, let's just go, and I'm going to show you a way you can make more money at once. So we only made about 100000 there, but imagine... If we had only put them, like, like, let's say I did this, and then did the ones, like, you know, on the end, and then I did, let's say, blue, and I did even numbers, because that's 20, it looks like, I mean, right here, and then, like, that, you could, like, you could potentially may actually make, so I'm, at this point, I've only put up 20,000, which means I would make 220,000 in one go. But, uh, that's, that's really, it's risky, because you're not gonna, that's, you're not gonna hit, you're not guaranteed to hit that 20, so you have no way of knowing that, so you have to try and cover a little bit of the board, so what I like to do, if I, you know, really don't care to reset the game more often, is, uh, I will go and just do a smaller portion of the board, um, maybe, like, that, uh, and I've only put up, so I've only put up 74,000 at this point, um, let's cover these down here more too. And so, uh, as you can see, I've only put up 86,000 this time, so I would make significantly more if I won again. But you're less, you're less guaranteed to win this way. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, because I've got an autosave that I can re rely on anyways. Uh, it would be crazy. So now watch. See, less of the board is covered in those little light green squares. So we're less likely to hit one. And the chances, see, we didn't. Alright, so we hit 26. We hit a, a dark green. Which means we're gonna probably lose money here. I mean, I could be wrong. We might... Let's see what we got. 24,000. See, so we lost. We lost money there. Uh, not enough for it to truly matter, I guess. But, uh... You know, we don't want to lose any money, right? So... Once again, we're going to just return to title screen and reload the auto, the, the auto save. And this is, this is the way that I made as much money as I had here, or have there, is 
Uh, like, I just keep doing that. And I did it for, I don't know, a couple hours one day. Made well over a million easily. And it, it takes a little while to start out. So you're not immediately going to be able to stack twenty or 2,000 on each spot. And all you're going to do is just... You're gonna you're gonna have to come up with some money first because you have to buy the tokens. So you're gonna buy enough tokens to maybe put like even just 200 on each square, and then uh, re just keep doing it and over and over and over again. And eventually you'll make money. And once you as soon as you make money, a, a significant amount of money, start betting more and just rely on the auto saves. Like it's not really cheating. It's just an exploit of the the game itself. And I don't consider that necessarily a bad thing because it's it's a function of the game that's there and it's meant for you to use and so you're just using it. Uh, now there are, are also these slots you can use. Uh, you all have seen me use the slots a little bit in the whenever it was the Monster Casino. Um, nothing special really. Can I buy anything over here? No. Um, if you would prefer, if you would like to see the slots more, I mean. I can always show you all the slots more. These slots are just regular slots, but if you go around to the back here, there are some other slots that are the the slime quest slots. Let's see, I'm actually going to use one, I think, just to see what that cheat sheet I got is. Because I, I have no idea what it is. Alright, let's see. So I'm holding the cheat sheet. Red Shan is holding the cheat sheet. Let's see what it is. So, same thing. There's the cheat sheet. What? Did I? Okay, here we go. Okay. This is the cheat sheet. But it's not showing me anything. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that cheat sheet did. If you all know what that cheat sheet did, let me know. Because I'm really confused right now. I never win on the slots though. I've like, and the, it's weird because the slots are something that I always played in the uh, the other Dragon Quest games. So it's weird to me that I'm not able to make money off these slots, especially whenever I read online that other people do make money on these slots. But yeah, guys, uh, this is what I've been doing in the game uh, since we last played together. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be doing a little bit more off screen in between now and the next video but uh, the whole point of this is that you will see more videos now you will for sure see more Dragon Quest now the only reason that there was a small delay uh, between this one and the, the previous video is just because I was trying to figure some stuff out in the game that I wasn't too sure about I wasn't actually sure if I could do that experience point trick just yet until I, I, uh, I kinda watched a guide on it and uh, the guide basically just told me everything to do and told you to just check your attributes. You can actually, let me show you real quick. You can check your attributes here and it'll tell you, let me show you. If you go to pet powers, it'll actually tell you all the different pet powers that you can use. And uh, it'll tell you over on the side all the participants you need. So I knew I needed, I could, uh, or I needed to use Hallelujah and I knew I needed to use Electrolyte. And uh, so once I saw that I had both of those, I just immediately knew that I had to go try it. And I, I figured it out. It's really easy to figure out. There's nothing to figure out, but um, it's just such a game changer because now I'll be able to level grind like properly and quickly and be able to get more videos out for you guys sooner. So uh, I think for the rest of this video, I kind of want to look at these prizes here just uh, so we can kind of go together. Uh, I, I quickly looked through them a minute ago so you all could tell me if there was anything you liked or wanted me to get and don't forget there's also a casino at um, the other one oh, I can't remember the name of the place there's another casino though uh, where Don Rodrigo lives and uh, it has some other stuff you can get too that are exclusive to there uh, I cannot remember the name of the place it's killing me I have to find out now sorry it's it's driving me insane It is... I know I'm like looking right over it too. Is it Gondolia? It's not Gondolia. I remember Gondolia. Porto... Puerto Valor, of course. Alright, yeah. I knew it had to sound Spanish actually too. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Alright, so let's look at these, uh, the, the prizes here. 
So we have one of these love potions, the Sage's Elixir. Actually, as you can see, I have 28 Sage's Elixirs now. Uh, that was the first thing I did. Whenever I made uh, like a crap ton of money here at the casino, I immediately went and bought a bunch of Sage's Elixir because I love these things. They completely help you in boss fights. You have to have Sage's Elixirs to be able to do any boss fights in this game. So I'm actually going to buy a couple more of those because I, I want an even number, even though I have 28. By an even number, I mean like 30. Um, let's put maybe... Oh, there's that other pep pip. Red Chan has it. Let's put the strong medicine away. Put the others in the bag. I'm really thinking about getting either this hot bikini or the scandalous swimsuit. But it takes Jade down to 162 for either of them. And I'm worried that that would just, it would be too much. That's a, a pretty big difference between where she's at at 196 right now. I don't think it's worth it just to, like, to be funny, necessarily. Even though I have the, uh, the Academy, or the Uniform de la Academy, or whatever it is on the other ones. Uh, the other, who is it? Veronica or someone? I don't know. I think it's Serena, maybe, that has it on right now. I don't remember. So, there's also a Twinkling Tuxedo, and that actually does take Silvando up quite a bit. A snazzy suit infused with sorcery that sometimes sends spells back where they came from. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty handy. Maybe I should get that. A shimmering dress, an enchanted evening gown that sometimes sends spells back where they came from. Oh, wow. So, yeah, some of these would be definitely worth it to get. Like, look at that. For Veronica, that takes her up to 173. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think instead of getting anything this time, I'm just going to go over them with you all, and you all can maybe tell me if there's something you would prefer me to get. But uh, I'll try and make some more money uh, here as well between now and then. So there's a happy hat, heartwarming headgear, that gradually restores MP as you roam across the land. Well, is that even useful, though? Because if, it, if it's while you roam across the land, it's not going to it's not gonna restore it unless you're not in battle. I need it in battle, really. So an imp knife, a strangely unsettling blade whose blows can sometimes bedazzle foes. Mm, maybe. That's not horrible. Ooh, whoa. Elfin elixir. Holy crap, I didn't see this. Restores all MP to a single ally, consumed upon use. Holy crap. That we have to buy some of. Um, that so I have 583,000. I gained that 83,000 this time, so I think I'm gonna buy eight. I'm sorry, like I, I knew I said I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I did not see that there. That would be extremely useful. We're gonna give that to. I don't really know who to hand it to, but maybe let's give it to Jade for now, and we'll just distribute them later. That's crazy. But you can also buy a gold bar, gold bar here. See, but there's also these recipes here. What's this? A legendary lethal lash that can strike many monsters at once, dealing full damage to every foe. Whoa. Why did I not see that there either? That's a nice whip. It takes Silvando up as well, so that's for sure something I need to get at some point. We'll do, we'll, I'll, I'll try and make uh, like maybe a couple million here sometime. Okay, so, oh man, that's crazy. I would really like to win the jackpot here, so I'll have to start that quest at some point. Anyway, so, there's a slime crown, uh, the regal regulia of one of slime, the slime world's great and good. I think that's just, yeah, it's a material. Oh, but know what I was saying, there's recipes here, so there's a couple of recipe books. There's this uh, Uber Swords Illustrated. And uh, it's for the best known swords in the business. That's probably got some good recipes in there. Uh, there's also this Metal King Helm, which is a million. And, God, as much as it would be nice to have one of those for each of these characters, there's just no way I would be able to come up with five million like that. Like, maybe if I just really sat down and worked on it for a few hours one day. But I'm, I'm going to try and maybe get a couple eventually. I don't know, that's just, that's a lot. And I think you can actually get a recipe for those somewhere, so I don't know. There's also uh, your very own Aegis of Illusions. Explains how to create a shield imbued with unreal energies. Yeah, let's do it. It's 5,000. I'll go ahead and get that one. It's cheap. And we need to get as many recipes as we can. 
So we learned how to make ethereal shields. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so yeah, we're down below 500,000 again, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end this here, I think. Uh, there's just a bow tie, nothing cool. I think that's a material too, yeah. I really want to know what this cheat sheet does. If you know what this cheat sheet does, comment and let me know, because I'm really curious about that. Alright guys, well, um, I really hope you enjoyed this part. I know there wasn't any story, but um, I think this these these are two really cool features of the game that are not even like a necessary component, but it really makes the game uh, more fun in the long run. And I know that some people don't like the whole uh, like experience level grinding through this type of experience because it's not really I don't know it's not really you know the way you're meant to get experience, but it's a part of the game. They put that electrolyte skill in here on purpose, so like it's it's there for a reason. They mean for you to use it, so I'm not going to apologize for it. I think it's a really cool thing as well. I really like that, you know, they don't tell you that it's there. They don't tell you that you can do this, but, you know, through talking with your friends or, in this case, seeing YouTube videos or reading a guide or something, you know, it just it expands your knowledge of the game and you realize that there are more features that you would not have realized otherwise. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I just really like it a lot. Uh, I hope you all, though, are still interested in this this game because there's still a lot to do in this game. We've got, it's a, there's a lot of like bosses to fight, and that's why I'm trying to get leveled up right now is because I have to go fight these bosses. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely work on that as we go. There's gonna be a lot more to this game we're gonna have to go around to like all the major cities and start a bunch of new quests and uh, we'll probably do those one by one, by one uh, after I get a little more level grounded like I said I'm gonna prob probably try and go up to like level 70 uh, maybe if I get stuck again at some point go up to 80 and then after we beat the game go up to 99 because I for sure want to go to 99 before I'm completely done with this game so uh, but comment though and let me know if there's a different way that you think I should do it I know some of you have already beat this game and are way past me, so, you know, without giving anything away, I do appreciate pointers. Well, I, I, th I think I need to stop talking now. I've, uh, I've ran this video on way longer than I meant to, I guess, but uh, it's really cool that I was able to get so much covered as well. So, that'll be it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I release videos every day of the week, so hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notifications every time I upload. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone have a great life.